this video let's see what is the value of determinant in case of square matrices of the order 2 we already have seen in the previous video what is the determinant value when the square matrix has order 1 in this case we have 2 by 2 matrix that is square matrix of order 2 and let's see how to compute the determinant value so I have now a determinant value to be computed for a matrix A and that matrix is having two rows, two columns, so it is a 2 by 2 matrix. The elements are enlisted as A11, A12, A21, A22. That means first row, first column, first row, second column, second row, first column, second row, second column. And that matrix is given to me as a square matrix as we know. So what is the determinant value for that square matrix of the order 2? It is given by this expression. Remember the first video I told you that determinant value is either a number or an expression. Since it deals with alphabetical values, the elements, here we have the expression. In the examples, we'll have numbers, then we'll have the value as a number. So how is this value coming out? The criteria is or the trick is to cross multiply cross multiply starting with a11 so it becomes a11 multiply a22 that is a11 multiply a22 followed by minus sign by your own you write minus sign by your own next what you do is again cross multiply cross multiply starting from upwards only so it is a12 multiply a21 so it is a12 multiply a21 Another thing that I want to tell you that you can also cross multiply from downwards because see this is actually what a product. So 2 into 3 if you do is also 6 if you do 3 into 2 that is also 6. So if we have a22 multiply a12 again that will give you the same answer. Let's see some examples and things will become more clear. So this case is only for order 2. So we are going to deal with some examples of order 2 only in this video. Example, suppose I have a matrix A and that matrix is 5, 4, 2, minus 3. And I am asked to compute debt A for this. That means determinant of A matrix. Now how to do this? Either you remember the formula or you remember the trick. So better to go by trick, we cross multiply. So it becomes 5 into minus 3. Next, you have to always see that you have to substitute the values but first put the minus sign. So put the minus sign. Next cross multiply. Either go from 2 to 4 that means downwards to upwards or upwards to downwards. It's your wish. So you can go anyways. Suppose it is 2 into 4. Now what is the answer? 5 threesa makes it 15 with minus sign it is minus 15. 2 Forza makes it 8 with minus sign it is minus 8 so it becomes minus 23 and that is your answer. Now again do not get confused with modulus sign. Don't think it is modulus so answer cannot be negative it should be 23. It's not that case. The answer is negative 23 only. And again if you do not do it 2 into 4 rather you come from upwards to downwards you do it 4 into 2 again it will be 8 only again will be the answer minus 23. Let's see one more example wherein we don't have numbers, rather a different expression. Suppose I have B and I want to compute debt B for sin theta, cos theta here, minus cos theta, minus sin theta. Anything can be given? This is given by chance, say. Now, computing debt or determinant means what? Following the trick or the formula, right? So you have to cross multiply. So what it becomes? Sin theta multiply cos theta. It becomes sin theta cos theta. Minus sign has to be written. You write minus. And then you again cross multiply. So what is it? It is minus sin theta into minus cos theta, which is sin theta cos theta. Negative, negative becomes positive. So it is plus sin theta cos theta right so it is plus sin theta cos theta writing plus does not make any difference this minus was for what this minus was for the formula now what is sin theta cos theta minus sin theta cos theta both things basically cancel each other so the answer 
is a big zero. So it is not that again determinant value cannot be negative, it can be. It is not that determinant value cannot be zero. Any value is possible in the case of determinant and in this video we complete the determinants of order 2.